everybody to another episode of Sundays with Selly. Uh, what are we doing this week? We are talking about Garmin's new 43 series MFDs. If you'll recall, a couple months back we were down at the Lauderdale Boat Show and they were just rolling out the new 743, 943, and 1243. They're available with built-in mapping or no mapping. They're built uh, sounder or no sounder. The XSV denotes the uh, sounder module function of that. So, as soon as we saw it, we knew we had to order it. So we put our order in. They're just now finally starting to roll in. I think there were some delays there in getting them rolled out the door. So we're thankful we finally got them. And we're starting to do our installs. Before we did the first install, I grabbed one off the shelf, brought it in here. Wanted to show you guys what's up with the new 43 Series MFD. So, here it is. Go on ahead and we've got this thing powered up and we're going to give you a quick little walkthrough of it. Very first thing you'll notice is on the back side now is our chart card or our micro uh, SD card. Uh, it's got a nice waterproof, weatherproof uh, flap on here. It does come with an SD card. That is for your active captain to get it all set up. So that leaves you one extra slot to put in your G3 Vision chart card. If you want to run additional cards, you want to run additional memory, or maybe you're flush mounting this into dash where you don't have easy access to this, there is a micro uh, USB, yeah, right here, micro USB port right here so you can run the additional chart card reader and have a remote chart card uh, micro USB uh, set up right there. Then obviously here is our power cable that also has our NEMA 0183 in and out so we can bring this if you've got an older system with some NEMA equipment, you'll be able to do that. Your older VHFs, things like that, you can run that right off of there. Then we have our two network ports. Again, if you want to do bring this into an existing Garmin system that you're upgrading, you can just add this in. This acts as a pass-through now for whatever you're doing, or if you just want to do a radar uh, and a digital camera, things like that, you have two ports there with the functionality of it. Now you also notice right above it, we have the orange 12 pin transducer because this is an XSV unit. So we've got the 12 pins, we can do clear view, side view, down view capabilities on this unit. And Garmin was thinking ahead, at least on this uh, 1243 unit, that uh, includes this cable. So if you are upgrading your system and you have a blue eight pin transducer, you can put this one orange into there, this blue goes right into the transducer you already have. You're up, you're running, you're off your races. This has a one kilowatt chirp transducer uh, capabilities, rather, built in on the 12 inch unit. You'll also notice here we have our NEMA 2000 and J1939 port that's going to give us our numerical data and our engine data. We have a CVS uh, uh, video in, rather. So if you're doing analog in, so if you were, again, you're adapting this into an older system that has analog cameras, you have the ability there. This also has an HDMI out port. So if you want to take this and run it to a bigger screen or a bigger display, you, or you want to put it down in a stateroom somewhere and watch what's going on, you have the functionality with this. So there's a whole lot going on on the back side here. They've got a lot of horsepower and a lot of capability and functions there. As we kind of spin this around here, you see it's a fairly shallow uh, depth for mounting. You obviously got to give consideration for cable reliefs coming off the back here. It also comes standard with the yoke mount. So if you're not flush mounting this in, you have the ability to take this and yoke mount it or gimbal mount it. Uh, from there. So, like I said, this is fresh out of the package. So you notice there is no trim rings here. It does come with it. I just didn't put them on because I want to get this video real quick. But you'll notice this is a nice glass edge-to-edge -edge display. This fits very well with the 8600 series chart plotters that are out there. So if you want to maybe have a smaller 7 or 9 inch display off to the side of your dash, maybe to run one helm applications like Empire Boss, Sea Zone, Luma Shore, Luma Tech, um, Sea Keeper. You want to have something more than just all these other little displays from OEMs. You can run it right through this. This is one helm capable, so it has all of that functionality in there, and it fits right in with everything else that you've got on your dash. So it's a really nice, clean, and seamless look. You can also flush mount it to give you that glass helm look. So it's pretty cool. So well, we've got all that. We've got that going on, right? But let's talk about, let's see, if I uh, do my video editing correctly here, 
we are going to see a chart screen show up right there uh, in this area here. And let's see, what are we looking at? We are looking at, looks like uh, we're in Lake Michigan today. So what I want to show you with this 43 series chart plotters is how quick they are, what kind of horsepower we're dealing with. As you see, as we uh, scale in and scale out here, we get a very nice, clean, quick, we can move around and it's, it's very clean, right? And if we go into our fishing charts, those are a little more graphics heavy uh, out there. So we can kind of come in here and you can see as the contours start to fill in. Again, very quick redraw, very quick, move it around, you can do all that. And we have that functionality. Really shines when we go into our combo screens and we've got like a, a chart uh, sonar screen set up here. As you can see, I've got my autopilot on the bottom. I've got the audio controls across the top. Uh, I've got three sonars running and I've got my chart and I can sit here pretty quick and move this chart around really nice. And if I want to move this sonar around and uh, have that functionality there, it just, it's very clean, very quick. It's a lot packaged into this, very small package. It's a great price point. If you were looking at an 8612 and maybe you got a little bit of a sticker shock there, take a look at the 43 series. It replaces the outgoing uh, 742, 942, and 1242 series. And uh, price increase, I think, was nominal on it. So it's really a great unit. It fits in, looks ultra modern, ultra clean, a lot of power. You can yoke mount it, you can flush mount it. There's a whole lot of stuff going on there. Plus, like I said, it does do all of the one helm applications. So this is really great across the board, um, bringing you all of Garmin's technology right here at your fingertips. So that's it. That's all we've got for today's Sundays with Selly. As always, be sure to give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Tell your friends about us. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments or email us at sales at navtronics.com. And uh, I got some other stuff up my sleeves here in the coming weeks for you guys. I think we're going to be talking about props, prop speed. Uh, I think we got some more charting info coming down the road. So we got a lot of stuff in store. Be sure to give us a follow and stay tuned. And until uh, next time, guys. Peace.